Hey, I'm John McDougall. I wanted to show you my electric beetle. Um, I took out the engine from a 1974 Super Beetle and I put in the motor from the top of a freight elevator. So it'll lift about 10,000 pounds or it'll get a, a Volkswagen Beetle up to about 60 miles per hour. So you've got the motor and then this is the controller which is connected to the accelerator. So I just, you know, when I step on the gas, it tells the controller how much power to draw from the batteries. If you can see the batteries on each side, there's two batteries back here. And then the whole battery pack talks to the motor. So obviously the more power that goes to the motor, the faster I go. So the biggest problem was hiding all the batteries. So we've got two back here. We usually call those the saddle bags. Now I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them, but through the back seat, I've got five back here. And then they're all cross connected. So that's called, that's wired in a series. So the controller really only sees one battery, even though there's 13. There'll be a pop quiz later on how many batteries. So there's two, five, and then behind the, actually underneath the seat where you can't see is two more. And then around front, I replaced the gas tank. With even more batteries, it's the gas tank. So there's four batteries in the front. Again, they're all wired in the series. And none of it's dangerous if you know how to touch it right. So I'm not getting barbecued. I'm not getting shocked. Nothing's going to shock me. You don't want to put your tongue anywhere near this stuff for sure, but um, it's, it's completely safe. I, I say it's safer than a, a regular car. And then this is how I charge it. It's just a standard power cable. Um, you can hook it up to your standard 110 outlet inside. Um, you can even do 220. It'll charge it twice as fast. That is connected to the charger right here. This very boring black unit right here is just a 175 volt charger and then it charges the battery pack and I get about 60 miles to the charge on it and it charges overnight so I usually charge about twice a week it cost me about um, five dollars a week in electricity so I went from three hundred dollars a month in gas to about forty dollars twenty to forty dollars in electricity so and then it's also a complete restoration we restored it and kind of put some clever graphics on it and uh, it has no emissions and it's completely quiet in fact i think it's on right now and um gets me to working back so it's my commute car oh want me to start it up okay so the sad part is you won't be able to tell i've got actually if you back here is the it, sort of the the connector this connects the whole battery pack and you'll hear it click on three one two three we could hear it don't know if you guys could but now it's on and I'll spin the motor a bit but when I'm not making the car go when I'm not driving the motor doesn't spin so I don't use any power at a, at a stop sign or a red light or going downhill I use no power at all so I get even further range but down here it's relatively flat so um, it gets me to work and back, I pick up the kids, I go to the theater, I go to get groceries, and I completely kick the oil addiction. So. All right.